Uh, Jonathan, my friend, let me ask you about this question, and maybe you mm -hmm. and I are all, are all victim to this. We all come from the experience we've lived, whether as a white person or a black person, African American or not, and, you have, and this is in our DNA almost. How do we get from what we have to look at is the whole history of a lack of justice for black Americans in this country, going back to the first slave to arrive here, all the way through Jim Crow, all the way through the last time a person was abused by a police officer, to the, to the actual data of this case? How do you separate community? justice we were taught by the Jesuits from distributive justice there's a lot of distributive injustice in our society people are just unjustly treated but how do right. we get to the actual justice of this case separated and divorced from our larger attitudes and histories right well you know that's what I've tried to do and you know after my initial piece just talking about you know w what it's like to be an african-american man and living with the burden of other people's suspicions about me and yeah. after having written that, I then focused in on the facts of uh, the facts of this case as we knew them as they came they came trickling out. And I think as long as people focus on the facts of this case, they will find their way. We will all find our way to a, to whatever the truth is as okay. we can ascertain it um, at this point. But I do think in the piece that I just wrote, you know, my my faith in the justice system was was really um, uh, suffering as a result okay. of this case. Jonathan. But now, as a result of Angela Corey, it's been restored. Okay, at least great for comments now. As, as always, sir. Thank you.